Welcome. <laughs> okay, hello, welcome back. Um, this is the month of November. Uh huh. Okay, now I'm seeing your lineup this month of November. It has five weeks, so I'm happy about that because the month of November has five weeks. I love a month when it has five weeks. You have more times to clear your energy vibration and all the stuff you need to clear out of your life i'm sorry i have hair in my face so welcome welcome back i hope you guys are enjoying the full moon um energies and this is going to go on for as long as i have the birth in my life to do this because um we really need to understand what the energies are coming up there's a lot of people that it's coming up with reading but um we got to focus on what is important okay so i've been checking out some of the um um welcome welcome to the channel if this is your first time i am uh i do the energy vibration reading for the months and we look at stuff that is going to be happening this is the general reading so welcome welcome each and every person we are going to be checking out the month of November I love this month of November oh my gosh I didn't do that I love this month of November and why I love the month of November it's because this month of November has so many um, vital energies so many information that is coming in that is just so unbelievable okay the month energies are just basically it's so unbelievable and I so vibrate um, with the energy vibration because um, it's actually aligned in um, all of us to understand um, what is going to be coming in and this is just so um, vital um, for us on this planet okay um, if this is your first time I do my readings differently I am a very focus on the energies that are in the week it is a very vital that we understand um, basically what is going on okay so um, such so as um, so um, we have to um, align ourselves so, um, with all that is about to come in for us okay it is very very important it's vital to know what to expect okay it's very important to understand what are the engines on which days and that sort of a thing because it's then going to align you with like positive situations in your life I am so grateful um, the month of November is 11 11 um, and the energy vibration is uh, the um, is the the star okay so it's an air energy it's a yes month for whatever things you want to do it is yes go for it uh, the universe is backing you in anything um, that you want to or you decide to do the universal angels and guides are here aligning you with these energies and it is basically um, just really 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 um, showing you um, the aspects and what is happening for you so this is this is actually so wonderful this has to do with um, what to expect because we need to align ourselves by aligning ourselves we align situations around us we're aware of what is going to be happening this is why I constantly say cross reading because I thought that a lot of people were cross reading um, but um, only to find out that not a lot of people were cross reading so um, we had to um, I had to basically let people know that it's very good to cross read because as you cross read what transpires for you is that um, you basically remove all aspect of um, things that is about to come in I personally I'm loving this month and why it is because I'm looking at uh, the energies in this month it is just super 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 um, wonderful there are just it's unbelievable things that is coming in this month so um, it's 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 as if um, situations at stop you know it's as if um, situations at stop time at stop and 
what is now aligned in us is that we're coming in the month of manifestation because November is known as the month as manifestation now it's a positive month for the Aquarians the Gemini and the Libra very very positive months for the Aquarians Gemini's and Libra but we're gonna go um, in that um, I want to thank each and every person that has connected with us on um, on um, uh, um, um, on the mound because that is that is just so wonderful on demand because what it does is basically it gives you um, an alignment of what is coming in which is just um, so beautiful and we're going to be looking at where the energy lies in the month and what's are the most positive positive time now we it, the for Thursday and Friday, the energies are very high. As we look at also Monday and Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it's good. But like Thursday, Friday is just so beautiful. It's wonderful. It's a time. Monday and Tuesday, Monday, Sunday is a time of healing. Tuesday is the day when you're going to be putting out. Um, your energies to the universe and said look this is what I want to manifest for um, the month of December because it's a manifesting day as we reach to the month of December then the veils are going to be thinner so your manifestation is going to be happening much quicker this is beautiful um, because as we look at the alignment of the energies in this month it's just so positive in the sense um, that there is some there's really some um, low energies but you know they're coming up I like Wednesdays and the Tuesdays and the and and, and the, the Monday and Sunday is really 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 um, connecting with the energies and it's as if it's a beautiful healing healing um, energies are coming in on this day in this month Monday um, Tuesday and Sunday so I can I really really understand that why this is happening or this is transpiring because what is what is basically happening is that energy vibration is changing because we're about to end uh, um, a year and it is changing so much and it's so positive um, as we look at um, um, Thursday and Friday the energy of Thursday and Friday is just so wonderful it's not a, a low energy it's a very positive energy as it's coming up there's a lot of 11 11 in this month okay not because the month is is, is, is like a lot of portals are opening and these portals are opening dramatically um, these portals are it's as if your angels and guides that decided to open up these portals so dream time it's going to be beautiful um, sex is going to be beautiful um, you know whatever you want in your life it's just going to be flowing in because the energy vibration is here and this is what I always say to people when they say yeah but it didn't happen to me yeah because you weren't positive and this is what um, this energy vibration is learning is teaching people basically is to learn positivity okay if you are constantly focusing on something negative for yourself or someone else that is what you basically um, bring in your life if you decide to stay in a negative relationship that is basically just that what that's what happened if you decided that you're always aligned with these wrong people these wrong situations and these people who are coming back in your life for whatever reason because Venus is in retrograde and a month before the retrograde and a month after the retrograde is the same energy as the retrograde okay so what I'm seeing here is just so beautiful and um, as we look at the increase everything is like going at a higher speed as you always go to December it's as if every everything is going on a higher speed it's as if your whole life the shift of the planet and the shift of uh, um, uh, um, the the planetary aspects and whatever is in the solar system it's vibrating because you're all um, grounded and guided by the universal planets that is in the solar system so as the heart vibrates is that that's the same thing now um, winter this year and as we because we're going in um, the the hearse the the hairs um, um, <laughs> um, Harris is Dutch okay as we're going in the autumn 
what is happening is that a lot the energy vibration is so pure it's, it's a pure energy whenever you walk out inside in the month of November this is a good time that people like to um, run outside because of the purity that you can actually feel that the energy vibration is changing okay and it depends on where you are or clumped it is number 11 44 so the angels are out they are guiding you um, 46 the wheel of fortune is coming in 66 your materialist needs it's time to manifest so, uh, 66 uh, I'm seeing one uh, you know 182 I don't know whoever vibrates with 182 it's very important for you guys and 27 182 and 27 is very important okay it's as if these are a specific numbers that is coming in for you guys and I'm going to start giving you guys numbers because 182 is is very significant and 27 in this month 182 and 27 is very significant in this month whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring I'm seeing this basically comes up and this is going to be you have to align yourself with these energy because this these these energies are going to be bringing for a lot of situation in your life okay so it's a it's, it's really a month of manifestation okay it's a man it's a month of clearing things and manifesting things in your life okay I'm gonna get off camera because we are going to um, be aligning ourselves with the energies um, please 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 um, like share these videos share these videos share these videos because it's very important for the message to go out now um, this um, as usual um, after um, the general reading of the month's energy um, this is this is free it's general so it's free for everyone now we're going to be looking at the cards so I'm going to be turning around the camera so that I share myself and also the, the cards because it's going to be um, um, very 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 important especially in this month that a lot of people are going to be aligning because we are going to be starting to looking at what is going to be happening in this month okay so as we align the month of November because it's a lot of cards these are big cards but I basically love these cards because I love using them because the energy vibration is so positive with these cards okay all right as I said before this month has the energy vibration of the star so for you um, Aquarians Gemini and Libra pe people it's going to be fabulous okay there's no question about this it's going to be extremely fabulous it's going to be good it's going to be positive um, a lot this is a really a month of manifestation as I have said the energy of the star is your wishes and dream this is a month to wish and dream and it so happens that the energy of the month falls the um, with the star energy okay so this is uh, um, basically the energy of the month now we have what helpers that is here the Libras are going to be coming in and helping out you guys the Libras and the Scorpions the Librans and the Scorpions are going to be coming out to help you guys in this month now what is happening and what is vibrating here is that when the energy of justice comes with the star it's going to be a very very positive situation and this is just for the general energies and as we look for the Pisces the Pisces people and the cancer people Pisces cancer and scorpion people are going to be um, aligned with the energy of the hair okay and for um, the cancer and spices um, and the Virgos because the energy of temperance comes in so if um, the, the debt energy is always carrying the energy of an ending coming in but we're going to be dealing with that but these helpers with the hermit because if you notice you have two helpers and this is justice this is about unjust situation unbalanced situation that is going to be justifying in this month it's about um, legal situation it's about conflicts which is going to be justified in this month 
whatever we see the hermit the hermit has to do with the temperance and the devil so there's an angel this is this is a positive angels and this is the eagle that is plain now what this is basically saying when the hermit is um, reaching them it is saying to you balance your ego balance um, the good in you and the negative aspect in you okay it's yin and yang it's the yin and yang with you the masculine and the feminine aspect of who you are and this is all it is saying you need to balance this out because as you balance this how to you're going to be looking within and seeing um, how have I dealt with a situation in my life how am I going to deal with the situation how am I going to vibrate am I going to choose the energy of being peaceful or am I going to be using my power and this is all that it is saying and this is going to be happening in um, the third week going in the fourth week okay so justice is going to be coming up especially for you water sign people and Virgos the water sign people and the Virgos whatever um, situation you have justice is going to be coming in for you now um, we are going to be um, looking at the energy vibration to see how is it going to affect you um, so for you um, for you guys who are um, um, because the energy of debt is transformation and the energy of the um, the the um, temperance it is all about the energy of temperance it is basically all about you your angels and guide or working behind the scenes to align you with the right situations in your life okay so um, if you're going through a um, 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 you know a period where there's just negative energies that is coming at you just call upon the universal angels and guides and ask them for divine intervention just ask them for divine intervention and this is what basically going to be happening so um, the cancers the scorpions there's going to be um, an ending um, to the scorpions there is going to be an end in is the cancers the cancers have the energy of the dead so the cancers and the scorpions are going to be feeling the effect of the debt okay and this is going to be in the sec second week but I'm going to go um, further and aligns you with the rest of the energy now the energy of the hermit that is coming in the hermit is the Pisces okay the hermit is a Pisces and I love this because the Pisces are always very quiet and they're very spiritual they're always connecting with their because they are ruled by Neptune and Neptune is uh, um, the angel the, the the planet of the unseen so the liberants and the Pisces are basically coming in to help out the Aquarians to bring forward um, your wishes and dreams so whatever that was in the past um, the justice is going to be coming out and balancing out certain things and the Pisces are going to be coming in to help you basically so it's a time of you going within and trying to figure out things now we have the energy of the hangman and the hangman is the energy of uh, um, the cancers okay so and they all share the energy also of uh, um, the Pisces and the cancers can use this energy while this is used by the scorpion and um, the scorpion and um, the cancers now um, for a lot of you first we're going to be going through water emotions finding out yourself going within it's the first week water you know really going within really finding out who you are the second week water again it's about a transition it's about something ending it's about you finding out something it's about you realizing that I need to change something about myself and this is going to be happening in the two first week 
second week it's going to be ending because you are going to be aligning yourself you're going to be letting go of things that no longer serve you whether it's personal whether it's business whatever the situation it's all about you deciding that something doesn't work for you and you're leaving this behind third week in the middle of the month you have the temperance so this is where um, your angels and guides are coming in third week this is going to be good for you Virgos especially if you have a legal situation or a conflicts it's it's going to be aligning for you in this week so it's going to be good a lot of other people are going to be finding balance finding balance with arguments um, quarrels and situation that is going on around you now the fourth week is not one of these most positive week it's mostly for the Aries uh, Leo and Sagittarius and obsolete people because um, what is happening here this energy is an energy of uh, um, people using their power and you are going to be aligning yourself whatever happened to the rest of you guys in the four weeks you're going to be overcoming it in the fifth week so we have water water one earth and uh, um, fire two fires okay so we have the two first week as um, um, water energies um, and then we have the uh, middle week which is uh, an hurt energy and that is going to affect the, the Virgos and the, the Taurus and the Capricorn people but in general it's going to affect uh, a lot of the hurt sign people especially if you have something to do with a legal matter justice uh, or um, the Pisces are going to be coming in and helping you as we look at the energy with the devil whatever it is whatever that is going on around you look within look within for an answer look within for an answer look within for an answer um, there's a lot of victory and success that is coming out okay a lot of victory and success that is coming out now these two energies have felt out as I was about to align these are big cards so um, um, ten of swords there it is there it is I did say people I did did say it I really did say it ten of swords so some lies and deceptions and some things you're going to be leaving um, you're going to be finding out some people are going to be finding out about some lies and deception okay so let's look at this and let's break them down now the first week there are where we try to look within ourselves to decide what it is we're going to do how is it we're going to be moving forward because we have the gift of the universe that is watching over us and is about to align us to the right place but yet still it's as if everything is slow and everything happens in divine timing some of you are going to be realizing that maybe you have started a new job or something like that and this is not working out for you so you're going to decide in the second week to end this the third week you have to find the inner strength to move on against a negative situation that is plain but you're going to be overcoming this in the fifth week and I'm so glad that this um, that, that this has a fifth week to align you as we move forward we have the energy of the haste of Pentacles so some of you are going to be receiving the beginning of as uh, um, the beginning of something in your life um, if there was um, financial problem and that sort of a thing um, the universe is going to provide for you because uh, and uh, again the universe is the energy of the star that is going to come in and provide for you but the other energies that is showing up here is that you by taking time off in the first week you're going to figure out how is it that you can bring financial abundance in your life and the universe is going to be gifting you um, via your dreams and everything the universe is going to be gifting you this information as we look at the second week going in the third week it's water and hurt water and hurt there is going to be a transformation so a lot of you there is going to be coming a transformation to your financial situations whatever that is transpiring whatever is happening there is going to be a transformation to your financial situation which you can see this this is working for you 
some of you are going to decide to leave a situation behind that no longer serve you that has to do and it has to do with work because whenever or if you had a project of you had started a project and you realize that it's not moving forward and that sort of a thing you're going to decide to leave it behind why is it not working it's because there's a lot of people that is against you there's a lot of people that is working against you some of you could be asking um, people to do certain things for you and you're realizing that this is not happening if you're in a network and you're networking or you need your house to get sold or you need to find a new house or whatever it is and you're asking um, you know like a realtor and that sort of a thing and you're realizing that it's not working anymore for you you're gonna decide to find someone else okay and here is the energy of the devil between the third week and the fourth week you have um, the angels protecting you but the devil is here so it's it's about the good and bad because a lies and deceitfulness is here and the Pisces a Pisces is going to be um, um, you know helping you by looking within you're going to be using the energy of uh, the Pisces to look within take quiet time look within and see the truth between the clouds and the lies that has been here the Queen of Cups is here. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, she's just not um, um, vibrating on a positive energy vibration. This woman is definitely um, working on a lower energy vibration. So be aware of it. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, um, she's deceptive and um, she's deceiving. Um, and that is an energy that is going to be coming up this is someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion very deceptive person okay but you're going to be overcoming whatever she is coming with at you whether it's um, a Sun moon and rising sign person or is it just a very deceptive person that carries uh, the water energy you have to um, deal with them so whatever they always bring um, um, they always um, make sure that they do something so that you can look within okay the other energy that is coming out is in in a strength um, th th there is so much that is about to go down in this month for you guys then you have um, the four of ones you have a strong foundation um, a very strong foundation then you have the energy of the Prince of uh, Pentacles. So, whoever the Prince of Pentacles is, you have um, absolutely a strong foundation against this person. Okay, you have a very strong foundation against this person. Whoever, because these, if you realize, it's, it's 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 as if all the people that is inclined in this reading that came up that is going to be affecting you in this month of um, November all the people that is a client and is going to affect you in this month of November has to do with um, women over the age of 40 that is um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion and then um, this person was a prince of pentacles where you're going to be just moving them away okay I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this um, there's a situation with work that is coming up for a lot of you and this is what I was saying about some of you may um, decide to leave a project behind or work or something else you have the magician and you are going to be fine oh my god the ten of pentacles so money is going to be coming out um, in this this month of November money is going to be coming out you guys can't see the bottom of this because I use these huge cards but I love them um, the outcomes of the month is the nine of ones and the universe is saying to you that you will be guided and protected no matter what is happening you're going to be guided and protected no matter what is happening because November is seen as uh, um, one of those spiritual months uh, you know this is how um, we align the energies with November is one of these spiritual month is the month that you're clearing up what has gone on for the year and you are about to to move out in a positive dimension and the nine of ones is here so um, this is good for someone out there who is dealing with um, 
the queen of swords whoever this person is um, for someone out there who is dealing with this queen of swords uh, or a justice or a legal system or a lawyer you're protected you're protected from this person this queen of sword person this person it could be justice it could be a legal situation um, because there she have the head of someone she's trying to um, get your head but you're going to be spiritually protected so whoever this queen of so she is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this person is she's trying to get your head but it's not going to happen okay uh, the universe is going to step in because here you can see the angels and guides or hair now when we look at this situation especially I with the energy of the devil comes up you see on um, the ten of swords which there's lies and deceitfulness and the person who is doing this lie and deceitfulness um, it can be a water sign person which is kind of weird because water sign people are always um, you know being very um, so nice because they carry the energy of love but obviously this person who is doing this is um, really vibrating not on a good um, energy vibration so as we look at the second week the second week whatever your financial situation is some of you might decide to make a change and you're going to be finding the strength the inner strength to make this change whatever that is happening here you're going to be finding the inner strength to make this change okay and as you find in the strength to make this change, I am seeing that the M a job is going to be coming in for you. A job is going to be coming in for you to make um, uh, stability. Sometimes when you're working or doing something and it's not working out, it's not for you because some people will copy you and some people wants to be like you and some people wants to try and it can be some people and copy someone and trying to um, do something because you see that someone is doing well but it wasn't meant for you and you're going to decide to leave it let it go and as you let it go and find the strength to do something else um, you're going to see that you fall with the right job okay I'm seeing a lot of positive energies it could be um, if you're a scorpion or a cancer um, it could be that you scorpions and cancers are going to decide to leave something behind as we look at the third week the third week you need to find um, in a inner guidance and balance you need to find inner guidance and balance and what is going to be happening in the third week is that you're going to be leaving a situation behind and realizing that there was so much lies and deception you're going to be leaving a situation behind and and and, and why it's because there was so much lies and deception you you have a strong foundation not to worry about that you really do have a strong foundation and um whatever the situation was and that was playing out uh, this energy you're going to find your angels and guides are going to be working with you to move away from the situation and you are going to be finding a better house a better stability whatever that has been playing out you're going to be finding that because it's as if the universe is going to bring you the energy of the magician to work that energy to get you out of this nasty nasty situation that is happening okay so whatever is happening here is is not very positive okay and this is going to affect a lot of people because this is a general reading and it's coming up in the general reading so it's going to affect a lot of people it's just going to basically affect so much people that is unbelievable and this is why I uh, do the general reading like this as we look at uh, the fourth week oh my god lies and deception with this queen of cups she is so bloody lied i can't believe it whoever this queen of cups is oh my god but you're going to overcome this she's like the devil in disguise whoever this and i'm, I'm getting the energy the, the this queen of cups whoever she is, is is like the devil in disguise um because she is here beside this energy so in the third in the fourth week she's going to be creating some situation so people be careful of the people around you 
um, it could be neighbors that is coming in it could be people on the work floor it can be your sister it can be a sister-in-law it can be a friend but be careful the energy of the Pisces is here I can't believe that this is a Pisces but anyway you never know what people are up to and the prince so it's she the queen of cups and the prince of pentacles oh my god these two be aware of these two because it, it, it has something to do with them they have been lying and deceitful lies and deceitful they have something to do with um, they have been lying and deceitful very lying and deceitful these two but and uh, but um, you're gonna be finding a way um, to resolve the situation and I'm seeing a lot um, the ten of Pentacles is outcomes of this month so this is wonderful for a lot of people um, some of you are going to be having promotion um, um, some of you um, could be could have been in a lawsuit um, with um, a, a, um, a company that you have worked for and a payout is going to be happening for you there's a lot of deception a lot of deception so people who have lawsuits with companies or you had a lawsuit or that sort of a thing you are going to be seeing positive uh, payout that is coming your way it's as if the universe came in with a magician and said now this should be paid out not one day later it must be paid out okay Wow it is really a month of a, a whole lot of deception that is a whole lot of um, chaotic situation that is going to be coming up and it's as if the angels and the angels and this is positive energies the positive light beams energies and the angels is as if the light and the darkness is going to be working in November so hold on tight people it is as if the lightness and darkness is going to be coming out in the month of November and I'm, 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 I'm you know I'm really letting you be aware of this because you can see this in the energy that is coming out but what is happening for the people who believe in the universe that the universe have your back you're going to be coming out on top so as you believe in the universe that the universe has your back the you are going to be coming out on top you are going to be asking for divine intervention and it's always good to ask about divine intervention so again whoever had the lawsuit because this is uh, the energy of the lawyer coming out or justice because justice is here obviously um, there's a lawsuit or a situation that involves a conflict or a situation it's going to be okay all right it is as if in November um, whatever that was transpiring it's going to be okay energy of the Sun um, everything is coming out and it's going to be fine Wow these this is just a powerful month November that is coming in it's just a powerful now month um, it's going to be um, so um, um, it's, it's the, it's the month is the energy of the light and darkness working together so be aware of that um, I want to say thank you so much um, this is the general reading so it's free um, all the other readings um, you are going to be receiving uh, for the, all the other readings you're basically um, going to be receiving um, um, the extra reading um, on on demand and um, please look at and, and this is important is because um, if I'm going to upload all those um, um, readings to YouTube at one time it is so much um, and there are so many information that is coming out and this is why we have on demand so that you guys can um, receive more energies about love general what is going to be happening I want to say to each and every person um, I wish you a wonderful November keep positive thoughts positive thoughts and you will come through this month namaste until next time